Okay, so now I have here a basin. Oops. Hey guys, it's Candy in the Land of Sushi. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another Japanese skincare review. I haven't done one for quite some time now. And the product that I'm going to be talking about is the Rosette Cleansing Paste. So last year, while I was reviewing another product for acne, somebody commented on that particular video and recommended me to try this product out. I was surprised to see that there are a lot of variants for this product. I went online and checked which one is the best seller and which will best suit for my skin type and skin problem. Honestly, I want to try all, like the blue one, the pink one, the yellow one, but I only have one face. So eventually, I narrowed down to two products that I want to try, the Kaiden Smooth and the Sulfur series. But for this video, I will only be talking about the Kaiden Smooth. Kaide in English means sea mud, which is the key ingredient of this product. So just a little bit of history, the Rosette Cleansing Paste was first released in 1929 and it was Japan's very first facial cleansing paste. 92 years later, it is still in the market and it is still a best seller. It has maintained its best-selling status for decades and decades now. As you can see here in the packaging, in 2009, it was ranked third as the best-selling cleansing facial paste. If I'm not mistaken, this is more popular than the Senka Perfect Whip, which I know is very popular in the Philippines. Let's talk about the packaging. The packaging is easily recognizable for its easy-to-squeeze green tube with a dark brown or black cap. It is around 648 yen for 120 grams of product. In Japan, it is available in any drugstores, and I've even seen this in supermarkets. In the Philippines, I checked and it's available in Shopee and Lazada. Just type the keywords rosette cleansing paste and you'll see an array of sellers selling this product. Now let's talk about the product. This specific variant called the Kaide Smooth is formulated with sea clay or sea mud which claims to deep clean pores and it targets blackheads and minimizes the appearance of pores. It also has a rose fruit extract which helps in skin tightening. It also claims to have anti-aging properties and helps minimize acne scars. And on top of that, it doesn't strip skin of moisture. It has a pH level of around 8 to 9 and it is scent free, mineral oil free, and it's free of any artificial coloring. The paste is color gray. Later on, I'll show you what it looks like, what the paste looks like. Now let's talk about how to use the product. I'll be demoing how to use the product. However, I'm not gonna be washing my face because I just put on makeup and I'm going somewhere after this video. I just want to show you how to lather it up and to show you how thick the foam can be. Okay, so now I have here a basin. Oops. This is why I'm not gonna wash my face in here in my room. Take two. Now I have here a basin filled with water, a washcloth, and the cleansing paste. Now let's dispense one around 1 cm of the product. That's how the paste looks like. It's color gray. Let's add water to that and work into a foam. So here, this is the foam. You add extra water if needed. Repeat until you are satisfied with the foam. Once you're satisfied with the thickness of the foam, then you can lather it up onto your face. Okay, like this. The thickness of the foam is pretty similar with the Perfect Whip, in my opinion. By using your hands, you can make a really thick foam out of it. There you go. And then rinse. Now for my honest thoughts about the product after using it for two weeks, for more than two weeks. I know a lot of people have reviewed this product and they said that after washing their face um, with a cleansing paste, they feel that their skin is a little bit dry. But in my opinion, I have dry sensitive skin. It didn't really irritate my skin and it didn't give me that tightening feeling whenever you know you use strong cleansers and 
really didn't dry my skin up. Although it claims to reduce the appearance of acne marks, which I have a lot, especially this side of my face, it hasn't really done anything to lighten or minimize the appearance of acne scars. So yeah, I can't vouch for that. And the next one, I still get pimples. I still get breakouts from time to time, especially before my period. But what I noticed after using this for two weeks, the pimples dry up faster and they heal faster and the pores close so much faster than before. No joke guys, last week I have a humongous pimple here. You can still see that. It was just so big. Usually a pimple that size takes five to six days to heal up and to close up. But surprisingly, after using this product day and night, I noticed that that pimple healed after two days. It just took two days for this pimple to dry up and heal up. I didn't add anything to my routine, to my skincare routine. The only new product that I added is this product. So it could be because of this cleansing paste. So that's why I highly recommend you guys to try this product out. I won't be making this video if it didn't work for me. I noticed a significant difference in how my pimples heal up and dry up. That's why I decided to share this video. I don't review products that I haven't tried for minimum a week. Also, it's such a shame that I wasn't able to document like take before and after videos or pictures because honestly, I didn't expect that this product will be worth a review. To be honest, I wasn't expecting anything good to come out after using this product. Yeah, I think that's the end of this video, guys. I hope you like it. I hope it was informative. If you want more videos about Japan, you guys, consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't yet. Also, I am now on TikTok. I post videos daily about Japanese sweets or convenience store snacks. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I can, like, you know, I can really do it daily. But so far, I've been posting videos daily. Also, follow my social media if you haven't yet and click that bell button so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. That's it, you guys. Thank you so much and I'll see you in my next vlog. Goodbye!